hello! Hi! Sorry, slightly delayed. I suddenly remembered that I use a microphone now to do these. Um, so I hope that this is working. Um, let me know if the sound quality is not working and I will... Yeah, yeah. Can someone let me know if the sound is working? Um, we've got people already typing on the live stream. If you want me to give you a shout out, then continue typing on the live stream. It's nice to see you all. Happy Thursday lunchtime, everybody. I have my lunch just here. Um, just pretending that I'm healthy. I've got a bit of pasta, got a bit of sweet corn, got a bit of broccoli. And then I was like, oh my God, I uh, scheduled the live broadcast for half one. I must leave my lunch now and go. Okay, cool. Peter says the sound is working. That's great. So what we are gathered here today, everybody, is to draw the results of the June competition. So it's the end of June, last day of June. Got to draw the June competition. So, um, what happens is, if you're a patron, there's about 100 patrons who support me, um, support the YouTube channel, thank you very much, it's absolutely amazing of you. Um, so what happens is I put all the names in a hat and um, every month there's a chance to win up to or over £400 worth of Trevor and goodies. So I'm going to tell you what is in uh, June's prize and going to tell you then I'm going to draw the winners and then I'm going to tell you what's in July's prize. So if you want to sign up to be a patron you might stand a chance of winning one of July's prizes. Um, I'm going to do some shout outs and um, I'm going to just say hello as well to the new patrons. So this month we've got new patrons. We've got Ian Corbishley and we have Lynn Corbishley. Um, I don't know if they're related or not, but they did sign up on the same day. That's a good shout actually, because it means you've got like two hits for the competition. So very, very good idea. Um, and we also have Andrea Merrill. Is Andrea watching? She was watching the live broadcast last night. I haven't seen her yet. Oh, she is. Here she is. Um, she is Andrea. Um, yep. So she's also telling me that the sound is fine. Um, so welcome Andrea, it's amazing to have you as a patron and thank you so much for supporting Wild Ginger Running YouTube channel. All about trail and ultra running, if you didn't already know that. So let's read out some more shout outs. So we've got Jay John Airy, um, he would like to win uh, the head torch um, in the middle of summer. <laughs> I know, do you know what, I'm, I'm, after I've done this massive shoe test, I don't know if you saw my live broadcast on Thursday, no. Was it last week that I did that? It was a bit windy, sorry about that. Um, I am doing this big massive shoe test, there's about 15, 20, maybe even 100 shoes in this test it feels like. And after that I'm going to be doing budget head torches because there's been a few budget head torches that have come out new recently and I thought well I'll do that in time for September kind of time. But how am I going to test them? I'm going to have to gap at midnight. Oh no, I have created such a rod for my own back. Um, Hannah is here. Hey Hannah. Hannah has just completed the Spine Challenger Summer Edition. Congratulations Hannah. Let's give her a round of applause. I hope your recovery is going very well Hannah and we will have to catch up. If you didn't see Hannah on the live show a couple of weeks ago explaining how she got her training done with two children, one of them with special needs, um, then um, definitely uh, Google Hannah, Hannah Basley and Google also while ginger running and that will come up um there should it should also be on the podcast version let me know if it's not there Stuart Newbury says he is more interested in the alternative fueling products ah well keep watching Stuart and you may win um Abazir Nazir is here Peter says hi Andrea's here we've already established Lynn is here Lynn Corbishley welcome Lynn you are new to the channel it's fantastic to have you here thank you so much for your support on Patreon um Richard Howard is here uh Duncan Reed is actually free this lunchtime well done Duncan um and Alex says hi as well Peter says hi too fab amazing to hear from everybody right let's see what is in the competition so this month we have the Amazing silver cross trail 7XT super bright head torch. If you don't know whether you might need a super bright head torch or not, I made a little film about this head torch um, and it is in the film description below. The link to it is. Um, so that's just all the reasons why you might want a super bright head torch because not everybody needs one, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's reasons why um, that you might need one for your trail running this winter. Um, or if you're doing like a 24 hour event or something like that this summer. Very, very handy. So somebody will win that this month. 
Then we have um, Morton, the Morton goodie bag. Now, Morton is super yum, yummy. Um, oh, let's just move that logo out of the way. Yeah, Morton, super delicious um, energy drink, energy gels, and they are working on a new product, which I think has just come out, so I'm gonna have to email them after this when I send the uh, prize winner's address and find out what that new product is, because I think they are launching it now. And now, um, we also have in uh, the prize draw, we have a Montane Featherlight Trail running jacket. I've been wearing one of these. It's awesome. It's super light. Um, it's made of this matte kind of material so it doesn't swish really annoyingly when you run. Um, it's got one pocket in the chest and it folds into that pocket so it just it's about this big and you could just squish it in your pack. It doesn't have a hood, it's got a venting under the arms and it's very airy, lightweight for just those like just in case there's a little shower days or you know like if it's going to be windy. Um, you can, it's so light, it's like 100 grams or something like that, it's so light to just pop in your pack just in case. Really really lovely jacket, I've been in, really enjoying testing that. And then the, oh, I, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do this on a different film now. I was going to test out a load of drinks from the drinks edit and I've completely forgotten what a wally. So basically, um, shall I just quickly go and get some of them? Um, oh no, I'll just, I'll do it on a separate film. I'll do it on a separate film. Um, they've sent me the goodie bag for the winners. Um, inside it, there is a, oh, where have I written this down? The drink said it. Okay, so there's a low alcohol Pinot Grigio. There's a mother root ginger non-alcoholic thing. Um, basically the drinks edit. Did I say this? It's non-alcoholic drinks um, for sports people, um, which is amazing because you want to have the taste of the alcohol. Well, you want to have the taste of the nice drink, but you don't want to get squivvy. Um, it's bad for sport, bad for your sleep, bad for recovery, bad for sport, bad if you've got children, obviously. Um, there's a Pentire Adrift, which is a, a, um, a gin, uh, a sort of replacement for a gin. You have it with tonic and a, and a slice of lemon, very, very refreshing. And then um, six mixed beers. So there's a beer from Small Beer um, and some other beers as well that I can't remember, but I will do a separate video, I promise, <laughs> because I need to show you the beer bundle and I need to do like a live testing. That'll be really cool. Um, so maybe I should just go and quickly get it. Just one minute, I'm just gonna quickly go and get them. I'm back. <laughs> I had to remember that the microphone was still plugged in so not to swear as I went down the stairs. Um, right, I've got my wine glass here. I've got uh, all of the drinks edit stuff. So let's just do a little taste testing. Obviously not gonna test all of them right now. I also need a bottle opener. I have a handy bottle opener here. If anybody has done the Neem Valley races that I organised, last year's medal was a bottle opener. So let's get rid of all these things. Let's just do a little taste test. Sorry about that, everybody. I'll cut that bit. Um, right, so what have we got? So we've got this. I'm very intrigued about this. It's 7%. Um, it's from California and it's a Pinot Grigio. Um, and it's called Mind and Body. It's gluten-free, vegan, and made with no added sugar. So um, it's a low calorie, 90 calories per glass, per serving. Um, oh no, it's 8.5%. Why did I think it was seven? Anyway, I'm gonna crack open a glass of this. Who doesn't like a bit of lunchtime drinking? 8.5%, here we come. Right, cheers everybody. Oh, listen to that lovely glug. Oh, I probably only need a small amount, don't I? Huh? Right. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Like it. Like a little bit too much, actually. Oh dear. Steve, do you want some wine? Oh, don't know where he is. I'm sure I just saw him getting ready for something or other. Right. Next was this. I have been trying this. This is Mother Root Ginger Switchel, a name which I very much like. Um, it's fiery and fresh. It's an alcohol-free aperitif made for re-energizing. Um, so you're supposed to mix it with tonic and soda. It's very fiery. 
I really like this in a long glass of tonic with um, the fruit juice saved from, you know that tinned fruit that babies like, like tinned pears, tinned peaches. We use the juice from that um, in a tonic, in a cocktail, and we put a little swish of this switchel in. So just like a little dab like that because otherwise it's far too gingery and it just blows your head off. It's got capsicum in it, which is like, isn't that uh, like, um, uh, tilly. Um, but this makes the, your tonic cocktail taste like a little bit alcoholic. It's got like, it's got cider, apple, organic apple cider vinegar in it, blossom honey, organic ginger juice, ginger extract, capsicum extract as well. So it just gives it a little bit of fire. So I've been really enjoying this and of course I approve of anything ginger. Um, Chris Williams says water is all we need for normal life. I know but do I look normal, Chris? Do I look normal to you? No. So we need, we need a little glass of wine every now and then. Mm. Lovely. Mm, yeah, really do like that. Um, so I had the blue version of this. It was an IPA. This one's called Upside Dawn. Um, and it's a athletic brewing company. It's got 0.5% alcohol in it. That was very nice. It was nice and hoppy, nice and refreshing. A little bit of a grapefruit aroma came through there. Um, then uh, they've also sent uh, Nirvana Brewery Belgian um, Helles Lager, which is also 0.3%. That's presumably very good because it's got a Grace Taste Award from 2020. Um, oh, excellent. <laughs> Chris says he does like ginger and apple cider vinegar. Yeah, you'd like that, Chris. And Abazir, Abazir Nazir says um, ginger is the queen of flavorings. I am indeed. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, then there's these, this is a small, small beer, small beer. Um, it's a session pale and it's 2.5 ABV. So this is a little bit more alcoholic. Um, funny story. Let me know if um, this microphone is dying, by the way, um, because it's on red line here. I will try to speed up. Um, so funny story, me and Steve went to Sweden a while ago to do the iceberg, which is three days of running through these amazing like Swedish forests and rocky coastline and um, around these beautiful lakes. Um, and we went to a supermarket and we bought some beer for a day where we hired a boat to like go around these little islands. And we drank some of the, the cider and stuff like that. And we were like, oh, don't really feel anything. It just feels like fruit juice. So we're not really getting any effect at all here. And then we looked on the side of the can and each one was like 2.3 or 2.5% alcohol because in the supermarkets, they're not allowed to sell anything more than that. So it was all like your normal alcohols that you see in Britain, but just really low alcohol. <laughs> it was really funny. You have to go to an actual liquor store in Sweden to get anything more than 2.5%. So that was a learning curve. Um, also very expensive. And they thought Steve was under age. They ID'd him and he was like 42 at the time. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, this is Lucky Saint. It's 0.5 and I'm sure it's delicious also, but I'm not, I'm not gonna taste test everything. I just thought I'd show you everything. They also sent a gin substitute as well. Um, so yeah, it's really good to have all this. Um, yeah, it's really good to have all this different different options. I feel like nowadays there's a lot of different options for people who don't want to have a drink, um, or don't want to feel drunk, but they still want to sort of be having a nice tasting drink. So I really like especially all the low alcohol beers. So the drink center have been super, super kind and they have given us three 80 pounds worth bundles of all that, what you just saw there, plus the gin substitute as well. Um, they've given that, so I'm gonna draw that for three people. So I think that's everything in the competition. With that um, 80 quid's worth of drinks edit stuff times three, the total price actually comes to 535 pounds, which is pretty awesome. I hope we can all agree on that. So, um, I'm gonna do the draw now and see who's won. Oh, it's nice to have everyone chatting amongst themselves on the live chat. Keep the live chat comments coming, everyone, and I'm going to draw the winner. So, dink, that's done that. Okay, Silver Cross Trail 7XT, worth £160, has been won, ooh, by somebody in America. Ooh, controversial. Um, Conrad Anderson has won the Silver Cross Trail 7XT. Congratulations, Conrad. Um, Conrad is a very, um, uh, yeah, he's been a patron since like way back when, almost as long as John Gardner, my oldest standing patron. 
So um, congratulations, Conrad. Um, thank you so much for your support and you're well deserving of this amazing prize. Right, the Morton, 60 pounds from Morton, which is here. Um, buttons pressing, scrolling names. Okay. It has come up as Maeve O'Reilly. Congratulations, Maeve, all the way over in, in Wicklow in Ireland. Okay, okay, who's gonna win the drinks edit? Oh, we have Tony Reeves. Tony only subscribed a couple of a couple of months ago. Tony, uh, Tony, Tony is the guy who um, came to the Neen Valley races. Oh, am I resuming the same broadcast here? Uh, it just went. Ah, uh, frozen. Am I back? Am I back? Yet. Am I back? Oh dear, this is a disaster, isn't it? The moment I decide to drink live on YouTube, everything goes wrong. It's a good job I've had a drink already, otherwise I should need a drink. Right, well I'm back. I, I hope you heard that the last person who won was Mark England. Cheers to you, Mark England. Um, I'm back for some people, but not others. Oh, refresh, refresh, refresh everybody. Um, Yes, back. Cool. Okay, so I hope everyone heard that Mark England has won. Um, I'm just while you're all still reeling from <laughs> from the disappearance and the lack of sound. Yep. I I blame I blame the booze also, Chris Williams. You are totally right. Right, the last person to win the drinks edit prize is Trevor Mackay, who I'm guessing lives in Scotland. I think. I think he. I think it's Edinburgh. I can't remember. I'm sure I've sent him a prize before. But well done, Trevor. You have won the prize um, of £80 worth of drinks from the drinks edit, including all the beers that I showed earlier and the ginger thing, and also um, the uh, gin substitute and this rather nice <coughs> bottle of wine. Lovely. I might actually get a case of this. It's very nice. Um, right. Okay. That's great. Da 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 da. Ba -da -da -da. Sorry for the madness, everybody. Sorry for the madness. Do you know what? BT have sent me this other thingy, and I really need to get on with installing it. Look, they have sent me. I need to install this. Really, I do. Um, so this will be my job for the afternoon. Uh, technology is not my strong point, as anybody who will be watching this channel for a few years will know. <laughs> I just like to do running. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you missed the Montaigne winner also. Okay, okay, let, let me, I do write these things down. So it was the Montaigne Trail Running Featherlight Trail Running Jacket was won by Sally Gilson, who has supported the channel over a few years now. So thank you so much, Sally, for your support and your loyalty um, with being a patron. Congratulations, everybody. Um, uh, I, YouTube does allow you to go in and delete stuff, but I think the two silent patches actually add to the video, so I'm just going to leave them in there. Right, who wants to know what is in the prize draw for July? I certainly do. So let's have a look. It's uh, the perennial tra silver trail cross, silver cross trail 7XT. Oh, I've got to tell you a funny story after this about today's filming. Um, did I already tell you the story? I don't think I did. Okay, I'm going to tell you the funny story, but I'll tell you after I've told, I've told you about all the things, and let's just hope that the um, the connection stays connected. So the we've got Morton goodies again. Possibly I'm going to email them now. Possibly they will let me um, send you the new one, the new thing that they were working on. Um, I know what it is, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say yet. Um, the other prize we've got, as I mentioned before, was the Montaigne Speed, uh, no, a Montaigne Light Speed Trail Pull On Jacket. So this is a non all the way down zip, it's just a zip to here. Um, Steve's been testing that, um, he says it's very good. It's um, very lightweight, very wind resistant, and a bit rain repellent as well. So that's a fantastic prize from Montaigne. Thank you very much to Montaigne. Then we have got a very exciting prize, a hundred pounds worth of Joss Naylor clothing. I have been wearing those um, tr like jogging bottoms from Joss Naylor clothing. Um, 
all the time until there was a heat wave because they are quite nice and warm um so i was wearing them all the time they were really really nice um and there's a t-shirt as well that i've given to my friend jim to test out as well it's um the one that joss is wearing in this photo there so i'll just show you a little picture of all joss's clothing there so i had that hoodie that's at the top that's you can't see actually <laughs> so and there's uh, these legging things as well and there's just t-shirts as well so um, so there'll be a hundred pounds worth of Just Naylor clobber for somebody to win. <laughs> and Stuart Newbury is asking me how much alcohol is in these drinks. Well, zero, Stuart, zero. Well, no, this is 8.5%, but I am a total lightweight. I've always been a total lightweight. And since having Finley, I've hardly drunk a thing and I continue to be a total not light, lightweight. Um, I think the drinks did get into the Wi-Fi, Peter. Yes, I think you're right. Yes. Um, uh, Lynn says congrats everybody and so does Anna, hello Anna, um, uh, Pete says he missed a Montaigne winner, oh, I read that out, that's good, um, yep, John, what, John is feeling the joy over the Wi-Fi disc and Andrew says hi, oh hey Andrew, nice to see you again, um, right, oh and the last prize for next month is, did anyone listen to the live broadcast last night, I sincerely hope you did, it was with the lovely, the wonderful Ross Brannigan, who has written this amazing book. Ah. So, um, this is up for grabs as well. He's even signed it, bless him, look at that. Oh. <laughs> signed it here. There we go. He's signed it. So, yay, prizes. Um, right, I think that's everything. Oh, I was gonna tell you a story, wasn't I? So, I trotted over, I, I put, I'm doing a test of a million shoes. I don't know if I've already told you this, but um, I'm testing 13 trail running shoes to do this like big super trail running shoe test. I don't know whether I should split it into two films or, but I, I kind of, part of me really wants to just put them in all in one film. Like it might be half an hour long. Don't know if anyone will actually watch that, but there's no films like that on YouTube. Everyone just does like one review. And I just feel like you just want to see all the twos in one film and then go, that's the one for me. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to go with it. So I took all the shoes in this huge giant duffel bag, all but 13 pairs of them, wearing one of them actually. So a dozen shoes in a bag and two GoPros. These my GoPros here and this one here and I just I, I put the bag down wrecked the area cleared up all the rubbish and um in the quarry near me and then guess what happened turned on the GoPro I had previously turned on both GoPros and checked them for battery life before I left turned on the GoPro and what did it say no blooming SD card in the GoPro I just walked 15 minutes down the road into the quarry and I couldn't do any filming because there was no SD card in the GoPro and at that point I hadn't even had a drink what is wrong with me so I'm gonna just do it tomorrow I've given up I'm just gonna write some articles today I don't know if you've seen I write quite a, quite a lot of articles for adventure.com it's a website that reviews loads of gear um, if you don't know about it already I've written a lot of the trail ring stuff on there so so yes um, that's what I'm gonna do instead because I can't be trusted to go out of the house today. Right, um, la da 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 da. Um, Peter says he absolutely recommends mesh Wi-Fi, it works a treat. Oh, what, like not BT Wi-Fi or is this what you're calling this? Mesh. I think it just depends what your area is. It just depends, like I don't even know if I have mesh Wi-Fi. I'm just, I'm kind of scared to go any, any place else in case it's even worse. Um, but anyway, I'm going to finish off this and then I'm going to start some articles this afternoon. Um, do let me know if you have any opinion on whether I should just make a big trail shoe film or whether, uh, whether I should split it up. I think I should just do all of them and see what happens. It's like best trail running shoe for 2022 and like do as many shoes as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anyone will watch it. Anyway, um, that's been the competition. If you would like to be entered to the competition in the future, then do sign up to follow me on Patreon. I've also started doing YouTube memberships as well now, which is, I don't really know how it works, but you can sign up on YouTube and I've sort of done like a similar tier system as on Patreon. Um, so yeah, if you want to talk to me at any time on Patreon, send me a message. Um, I will, I get back to patrons as a priority. So if you've got any questions at all, just hit me up on Patreon and I'll do my best to reply to you, um, very, very quickly. Um, awesome. Okay. Thank you for all your Wi-Fi advice, everybody. Keep it coming on the comments below. 
and um, I shall see you next month. Um, uh, first of all, I shall see you on Wednesday. What's happening on Wednesday? There's a film out. Oh, a film about the boa, you know, this boa closure, daily, daily, turny, turny shoes that I've been testing. There's a film about that out. And then the following week, we have Tim Piggott, who has won, he won the summer spine race. Um, fantastic, because he, he was in a massive accident years ago and he had to basically replace his whole body with bits of iron and stuck together with sticky tape. So he's done super well. And um, following that, I'm going to do a gear chat as well, because I've got loads of gear that I've been testing lately, not just shoes I really need to tell you all about. So that's the next month or so covered. Join me, subscribe, click the like button, and uh, join my patron if you want to be in a chance, in with a chance to win stuff every month. Cool. Okay. See you guys. Cheers. Bye.